Okay, everybody, welcome to Bitcoin Trend and Forecast and uh, video. And I'm just giving you a little educational spotlight. This is just so that you can continue learning and hopefully tweak your interest in crypto a little bit further. What I'm going to give you today is I'm going to teach you how to read the Ichimoku Cloud really simplified. I'm not going to give you the complicated answer. I'm not going to give you all of the five lines that, that they have. I'm going to teach you a very simple way to read the Ichimoku Cloud, and we'll go over it now. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to take away and learn something from this and, uh, you know, just in, in how to read it. And my screens are opposite now. That's not good. Okay, let's try this again. Let's just do it this way. No, it's not going to work that way either. Let's do this. Let's just do it this way. <laughs> it's not going to work on my screens today. But can everybody see my screen? I give presentations yes. all the time, but my screens are opposite now. They're really <laughs> weird. But we'll, we'll just try and get through this. All right. So last time I, I gave you on the on the webinar the, the basic view, and I'm going to go over this really quick just for those people who weren't on last week's webinar. You might want to rewatch it. But the Ichimoku cloud is an indicator that's made up of a collection of indicators all in one. And it, and it shows the support and resistance levels. It shows momentum. It shows trend direction. And it helps determine the best time to enter and exit a trend and gives reliable strength of market signals. So basically, this is what I went over last time with you. I'm going to give this slide to you as well for those people. Uh, so it's on the webinar. How does it work? There's two lines, a conversion and a baseline so that you know what they are. The Tenkin line is the conversion line, and it's the middle of the nine period high and low. The uh, Kitchen Sen is the baseline, and it's the middle of the 26 period high and low. When the base and the conversion lines, they both act as support and resistance during different trends. And I'm gonna put it all together for you and show you. But when the shorter line moves above the longer line, it means a rising bullish momentum trend when the, when the coin is actually going to go up. The cross of the two lines confirms that momentum. And when the price moves above the two lines, it confirms as well. So basically, this is what it looks like for those people who have never traded the Ichimoku cloud before, if you can see this. This right here is a purple line, and it's called a lagging span. All right, it lags behind, that's why. 26 periods behind the coin, and it tells you what the coin's gonna do. I'm gonna go into that. Um, the way that I scalp trade and what we teach in our course is that this is Barney. We call him Barney because he's purple. Um, and so I, if I refer to him as Barney, you'll, you'll know what I mean, but he's the lagging span. There's two lines that crisscross in the Ichimoku cloud. And these are the conversion and the base lines. Uh, I've colored mine yellow and blue so that I can determine the difference because I use green and red for uh, other crossings. And here is what the cloud is. And this is what I'm gonna teach you how to read today so that you can uh, better get an idea of the momentum trends and how to buy and sell points. This is a new slide that I added to help you as it like a cheat sheet for Ichimoku clouds. These are the key points that you need to take away. That the price is actually where the candles are. That's what's showing you the price of the coin. When the price line or the candles are above the cloud, this is green, meaning this is where you take your long positions. When it's above the cloud. When the price is below the cloud, you take your short positions. So know that you're looking at where the candles are above or below the cloud. If the candles are inside the cloud, don't take a trade at all. This is the way the Ichimoku cloud is teaching you. Now, my yellow line, which is the slower one, the Tenkin line, is the conversion line. The blue line is the faster one, which is the kitchen line, and that's the baseline. Now, when this is your key point here, is that when the blue crosses up over the yellow, that's your long trade signal. When the yellow crosses over the blue, that's your short trade signal. And the purple line, when the lagging span touches the price, this is your early sell indicator where you can possibly 
foresee taking a little bit of profit because the market is going to change. So this is something you want to be watching for is when the purple lagging span touches the price. So basically, that's the, the lesson that I have for you. But now I'm going to show you how it works on TradingView. I'm going to give you uh, a lot of people need to see how it works. I'm going to explain it to you. But next week, I will give you a lesson on a quick overview on TradingView. I'm going to show some people some how to set some things up that might help you with your trading. We're going to go over how to set multiple screens up, uh, the quick auto readjusting, the high low price tags, setting alerts, and possibly dark and light screens. Just uh, some little uh, tips for you. We'll go over. Now, here is my screen. Hopefully, everybody can see it now. I'm going to run over just a couple coins just to show you how this works. If you want to add the Ichimoku cloud, what you do is you go into your indicators and you search for Ichimoku and then you add it to your favorites. And then it will turn on and it'll be over here and you go into settings. These are the settings that you're going to need for long term. I'm going to show you how to use this for long term trading. This is not how I use um, or I, how I teach Ichimoku Cloud for scalping. Scalping is work, works different and the settings are different and we teach that in our course. But the conversion periods are 9 and 26. The lagging uh, periods are 52 and the displacement is 26 periods. And what that means is the lagging span is behind. The style, you can do these any color that you want. You can uh, adjust these colors. You can go into the line setting and you can see how it works here. The color setting works here. You can choose any of these colors. I'm just choosing yellow and blue because it's easier for me. You can change the opacity and how thick the line is, whether you want to see it strong or not. So I have the conversion line. Oops, turned it off. I have the conversion line. Mine is yellow. The baseline is blue and the lagging span is purple. You can change the color of the Ichimoku clouds as darker. You can make them darker or lighter in here the same way. So that's how I have mine set up just so you can see. But this is basically what it looks like. You can see that Barney is up here and I'm using Bitcoin for an example because this is a driver for a lot of people and I wanted to be able to show it to you. But what this looks like, this is telling you what Barney is telling you is what the next candle is going to be. So I am on a day chart. You want to be at least on a minimum of four hour. Four hour is basically the chart that works really well with Ichimoku Cloud. And that's what a lot of long term traders will use. However, the day chart is what I'm using on Bitcoin. So you can see the cloud a little bit better and you can see the lines. You can see here that the candles or the price is above the Ichimoku Cloud signal lines right here. And it's riding well above the clouds. This confirms that you're in an uptrend pretty easy. But what you're looking for here is you're looking at the width. The wider that these two lines are, the base and the conversion line are apart, the stronger the trend is for going up. And you can see that it's, it's clearly quite nice here. You can see that Barney is going up or like I said, the lagging span, I'm used to calling him Barney, goes up here. When this, these candles are going up here, you're way back here. This is what you're seeing. And then you'll see the point change right here. That's this point right here. Remember, the lagging span lags behind 26 periods. So when you see this, you're seeing this. When Barney turns down, that's when you get your spinning top in here. And then it starts to go down. You want to follow whatever Barney or the lagging span is doing. When the lagging span is up, that tells you that the next candle that you're going to be in is going to be green. If Barney is down, you can see it was down a minute ago, that candle was red. So you want to be able to watch and see what direction uh, the lagging span is in to know where your next candle is. As you can see, we're coming up to the next high, which is 48678. And when you get up to a high point, I'll show you how to put those on, on the next uh, webinar, but if you don't already have them on your screen. But right here, when you start reaching a high point, you're reaching the resistance point. And, and you're usually going to have some retracement that comes in about that time. So you want to be able to know where those high points are. The way the cloud uh, and the, the, the cloud works, I want to teach you is you're looking for these crossovers. When the yellow crosses over the, green, the blue, this is your sign that you should be exited out and take a short position. When the yellow crosses over the blue here, this is your signal 
with these signal lines that you should take a long position. Now, obviously you could, you're missing out on some of this, but this is actually what would be considered a death cross or a death area within the, the conversion and the baselines. So when these cross, that's your signal that the trend is actually changing and you want to be able to grab hold of knowing that this is in the, the trend. Now, I want to go over a couple other screens, but the way you read the cloud is you're riding the top of the green cloud. This is where the candles ride. So when it goes in, then it goes up. You're going up here. When it goes in, you're going in here. And you follow the cloud all the way up as it's building. The bigger the cloud is, the stronger the trend. As well, when the trend, as you can see right here, has a pointy edge on it right here, this where this cloud is forming, you can definitely see that you're going up. When the cloud comes over and drops on this side, you're coming down. So you want to watch the cloud formation as it's happening here, here, and here. Now I want to go into another chart really quick and show you. Um, I'm going to not reload this. This one I took dot. Dot is on a four hour chart, and I want to show you the difference of what it looks like on the cloud. You can see clearly here that the crossover of the lines was here, but you never want to buy. And remember, this is your time where you want to buy. You want to buy outside of the cloud. You don't want to buy anywhere in the middle of a cloud. So when the, the coins are here, you get your confirmation right here when the signals pass. And you can see here is your buy opportunity is when the um, candles are above the cloud. You don't want to buy down in this area. You want to buy when you get the confirmation. And you can see here that it, when it crosses over again, that's when you should have been exited out for a short position. But, uh, you know, you use a lot of other indicators in a lot of our courses. We teach you that it's just not this is not the only indicator that you use. You use a lot of different indicators like the 200. If the 200 is going up, that means something. If the 200 goes down, it means something. But when the 200 line, uh, the moving average is going up, you're in a really strong trend of the coin. And so with DOT, you can see that DOT's been going up for quite some time. And you can see when it crossed over here, that was your buy opportunity to buy when the price goes above the cloud. And, the, and it's clearly above the cloud here. This is where it crossed. You should have exited out and, and capture these extra profits as you're going. Watching a coin and watching how the uh, clouds work is, is really nice to do and, and be able to tell where your um, prices are at. Now here I took CTSI really quick to show you the difference of a coin on a four hour. This coin's been going up for quite some time uh, this past day. You can see that each one of these candles is four hours, but Barney is pointed down or the lagging span is down and you have a spinning top. So that's telling you that it's coming down. You can clearly see that the cloud is leveled off at the top. So you're gonna go sideways. You're gonna come down, you're gonna do a retracement and go sideways. The last chart that I have for you to look at really quick was AVAX. And this is what I wanted to, to teach. And, and this is some of the stuff that we teach in HODL knots and our scalp trading course is that if you look at AVAX here, what is it doing? It looks fabulous on a day chart. This is what you guys are doing with Marius is you're, you're getting the trend on the long term. And this smooths out some of the information is looking out and zooming out on a day chart. AVAX is at the bottom of the bucket today. It's 23% down. That doesn't mean it's not running. So this is where you need to be able to learn how to read these coins because normally in an exchange, you would not buy a coin that was 22, 23% down. However, this coin is running in the long term. When you zoom out, you see the overall trend. But if you go into a one minute chart or and you're looking at a one minute chart like we do in scout trading, you see a massive downtrend. <laughs> OK, so but we have lots of buy opportunities within this downtrend because the overall price on the day is going up. And so it, it gets a little confusing for some people, but reading these clouds, and we use the Ichimoku cloud very strongly in what we do in scalp trading. So it works really well with long term. So when you go into the hour chart, it looks different. Just even switching to an hour chart, you can see that the trend is up in this coin. This is a fantastic buy opportunity for this coin. When it's 22 or 23 percent down, you want to be looking at taking, you know, buying in that coin, knowing that it's going up on a day chart. 
So for long-term investing, this is the easier way to do it. And this is the way you, you want to see the trend. If everybody can see how this coin works, we're following this trend on this Ichimoku cloud up. And it's got a slanted edge here. That tells me this coin is going up. The lagging plan is pointed up. It's not pointed sideways. And all the other indicators, it works extremely well with the RSI. So when you're riding above on the RSI, it looks beautiful. You do know that there is some retracement coming, but when you learn how to read the MACD and the RSI, um, that can work to your favor too. So hopefully you've learned a little bit of something about watching for these conversion lines. It's the simplified version that I wanted to give you. Um, not all of the technical detail of the kitchen and the Senken and the A's and the B's and the spans. You can get off into uh, Ichimoku clouds in a more complicated way. Uh, if you're into all that technical analysis, but I simplify it and we use it and we watch it and hopefully you'll be able to learn something and take away with watching, watching the Ichimoko. It's a very, it's a very good, good indicator. indicator. Wendy, would you mind just to go back to DOT dot? I think it's important sure. that people will view this. And guys, one of the reasons why we are showing you the Ichimoko cloud at this moment is because we knew about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, really when we started the training, is that we will have to show you one indicator how you will find the top in every single coin. If you look at DOT there, exactly what Wendy says, go and put it on the four hour, put your Ichimoku cloud on, and you can see here, as long as you have a green move upwards here, the market is going to go up. You can clearly see here that dot is a good buy. It's going to go up. We also had a look at Bitcoin, which Wendy showed previously. Bitcoin is also going to go up. So when you look at Bitcoin, you look at Ethereum, you look at all the other coins together, you get the feeling and the impression from objective data that markets are going to move up. Okay. So with regard to DOT, if you're in DOT, you can trade it up. Every single coin that you want to look at, instead of me giving you those target points right now, it's guys, it won't work. Target points is immaterial right now for the next 48 to 72 hours up till Monday. What will happen is when Ethereum rise and hits a top and then retrace, every single coin is going to come down. About 99% of coins will come down. Some coins will still have a bit of a spike and go up. Now, remember, if you use this simple indicator, even if Ethereum and Bitcoin comes down, when you see that you know, the, the Ichimoku cloud is turning green, it means that specific coin is still going to go up. Unless that tip there turns red, then you've got a problem. How the, the, the cloud, the cloud will, close. will close up. And when the cloud closes up, then you're coming down to a retracement. But as long as you are in this and you have a sharp pointy edge on this cloud, you are going up. That is a, a definite up. When it crosses over like this right here, you can see where the cloud humps over on the top edge. You can see that it starts uh coming up against a resistance point and it, it, it hasn't fallen over the back side. When the cloud falls over the back side and turns into red, you will follow the red cloud on the bottom. And when it starts dropping, you'll have just the opposite effect. Let me see if I can find one really quick for you on, uh, I think AVAX on, on one, it's, you're, you're not gonna go to one minute, but I could find a uh, red cloud a lot easier on a one minute just to show you when you are, when the price action goes below the cloud, this is obviously the downtrend. When you're below the cloud with the prices, you can see that this is busting out. This is your buy opportunity on AVAX on a one minute. And this is what we look for on the one minute is the buy opportunities. But when you're in a red cloud right here, you're lagging behind, but you are following this down on the bottom side coming up, coming down, coming down here. And when this turns around to close up, you can see that it closes up on this side. Then you flip over to the green and now you're up. But you read the red cloud on the bottom. The fatter the cloud is, the stronger the downtrend is. And now you can see this is clearly going up. It's leveling off a little bit, but on one minute, it's pretty fast and furious and that's what we do. But you can definitely see for long-term investing, uh, it, it's clearly much easier to be able to see the trend, watch the cloud, watch the direction of what that next candle is gonna be 
on your day chart. This is looking beautiful for AVAX. That's just another coin. You can zoom out on just about any coin right now. The market is so sweet, but DOT is the one he wanted me to look at. On the day chart, you can clearly see with the Ichimoku cloud lines, it's very fat here. It's wide, but these are straight at point, pointed straight up. This is up. DOT is clearly going up on the day chart, and these candles are very, very wide above the signal lines. I, I've taken off all the moving average lines, Bollinger's and all the other things that we use, but the more you can get to know um, how to trade, the better, but this is just Ichimoku Cloud Simplified. So, Wendy, so Wendy, uh, on, that, on that DOT, it's okay, you can leave your screen like it is, but on DOT, for example, this is the key, guys. You can use DOT, you can use Ethereum. DOT runs on a simil similar algorithm like Ethereum, meaning that when Ethereum starts to drop, DOT is going to drop as well. So what you can do on the 12 hour or maybe the four hour is probably better. When you see the DOT on the Ichimoku cloud is starting to give you that, green, that red signal where the cloud turns red, that's a warning sign. Okay, for the next 48, 72 hours. You can literally use DOT to identify where Ethereum and Bitcoin is going to go. They're very, the, they're very similar. They're very similar. There's another coin you can use, which is Theta and Theta Fuel to identify what the market is going to do as well. Theta pre-runs what, what Ethereum is going to do. Theta Fuel pre-runs Theta a little bit right at this moment, not always. Now, you can see here what Wendy's showing you is that Theta is still moving up. Theta is actually showing that it's going to break out. You know, there, and that's a day. Okay, if you put it on a four-hour day, Wendy, what it should show is a really nice, kind of like a bull flag there. there. Yeah, it's not really a bull flag, but that that is an upward trend. Yeah, that, that's a perfect, that's a perfect. Look at that, guys. That is going to bounce off that yellow line. What trend. is that yellow line there, Wendy? Is that the... Yeah, these yeah, are, these are these, these are the two lines. The yellow is the conversion, and the blue is the kitchen. Is so the so yellow the twenty one MI? The faster one, the faster, one, the faster one, one is the blue, and the yellow, and the yellow one's the slower one. And when they cross, when the when the yellow one crosses over the blue, that's your exit time. And when the yellow cross, when the blue crosses over the yellow, then it shows you the uptrend. These so two these two lines go with the Ichimoku cloud, but you, but you be, want to be watching the lagging span because the lagging span shows you that you're in a retracement and it's in, and until the lagging span turns around and the cloud gets a little bit sharper, you're going to tunnel on a four hour. So one is fast, one is slow. Which is the fast one? The yellow one? The blue. The blue. The blue. Okay. So one, the blue is the rabbit and the yellow is the tortoise. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. It looks better on a, on a day chart. You can clearly see it. Okay, guys, I think enough about that. The Ichimoku cloud, you can use that. I tell you what, simple indicator, 